Hi, I'm Shannon Cannings. And I'm William Cannings. And we have a two-person show right now at Annie Tisch Gallery in Houston. The show is called Duplicity and will be on view until June 3rd. Duplicity is a form of deception. The root of duplicity, duplic, is Latin for twofold. We chose the name because the two of us use deception either in material, subject, or imagery. I was privileged to be chosen to make an installation of sculptures for Gate 50 of Hobby Airport. The Houston Airport System was recently named the 2023 Best Airport Art Program. The Hobby installation has 30 clouds floating about 15 feet in the air through the gate. For this installation, 10 clouds float just above the audience in front of a blue sky wall. The lightweight clouds sway gently when the air system blows, casting shadows against the wall and viewers, bringing the outdoors in. The floaties began as research for another project. Though these weren't right for the original purpose, they were playful forms that seemed to dance and interact together, and I felt they should be in the show together. And I'm excited by the high iridescence of these new paints I'm working with. The floaties were created uh, after I revisited an old form from 2005. I was very engaged with and thought, you know, I'm going to have a go at that again. And so I created Twist, which had a very playful nature to it. Uh, that piece inspired Curve, which in turn inspired Reach. It felt like the three pieces had a conversation and were very playful with each other. They screamed out for some lovely lush surfaces which they got and it allowed me to experiment with some new materials and iridescence that I had not played with before. So in turn, I play with the sculpture and the sculpture plays with me. I quite like that uh, duality. <clears throat> the forms were all created in the same kind of fashion uh, using flat two-dimensional patterns which I'm welding together and then inflating with compressed air which again play off of the iridescence of of the colors so that's how they kind of generated their own playfulness and whimsy it wasn't really contrived it just was allowed to happen unfurl is a nod to circular paintings like Damien Hirst's spin paintings the 2d patterns began as a flat pizza shape when inflated, it became a beautiful, dense form. I'm trying new forms and pigments to lure the viewer to investigate the surfaces, depth and reflection. I have added some new symbols and imagery into the show. I'm still making work that questions our obsession with gun culture. Several pieces use distorted, intersecting black and white stripes. This pattern called Razzle Dazzle was developed and painted on ships in World War I. You can't hide a ship on a flat line of water, but you can hide the number of ships, the direction they're headed, and where they will be when your torpedo gets there. The paintings with rocks in the background are quite personal. I'm from Pittsburgh, and the steel industry both built the city and destroyed the river ecosystems. Environmental scientists are dredging some of the toxic sludge from the Ohio River. Gamblin paints have been removing the iron oxides from the sludge and refining them into oil paint colors. I love that I can support the efforts of the cleanup at my hometown and make art at the same time. Lonnie Johnson worked for NASA in the Jet Propulsion Lab he then developed Nerf bullets as a drier, indoor-friendly projectile version that can now be found under sofas in half of U.S. households. These little tubes are symbols of play and childhood, as well as a direct connection to the weapons technology. Their graphic shapes and intense colors interact with each other and their environments. For our collaboration, we decided that I would cut one of my pillow forms along its weld and attach wall mounts so the concave side would face forward. I painted the outside or wall facing side in neon colour to reflect back onto the white wall. Then I handed it off to Shannon to paint the inside. 
Because I started with an organic form instead of a blank rectangle, I let his color and shape guide my process. I had originally intended on having the guns nestled into distorted pattern, but once I saw the forms, I felt the distorted patterns were already in conversation with the curves and puckers, and guns would distract from what was already there. Disrupt uses warped razzle-dazzle, and distort uses warped shooting targets. We each really enjoyed the collaboration, and though it was our first, it will likely not be our last.